In Italy, a terrible milestone. The death toll from COVID-19 in that country now more than 3,400, surpassing the death toll in China despite Italy's much smaller size. Our James Longman reports from London. Tonight, chilling new video from Italy's front lines as a deadly milestone is reached. The country today recording more coronavirus deaths than China. Over 3,400 now dead, 427 more fatalities in just one day, and a 15% increase in infections over yesterday. The curve just won't flatten. This desperate plea from a doctor in hard-hit Bergamo. We are in full emergency. Our health personnel, nurses and physicians are working round the clock countless hours to fight this incredible situation. Tonight, 300 volunteer doctors now being rushed in from other parts of the country to help. Even Bergamo's crematorium is overwhelmed. Bodies now have to be transported by the military to surrounding regions to be dealt with safely. This nurse saying the psychological tension has, quote, gone through the roof. We're not even counting the dead anymore, she says. Doctors also making the ultimate sacrifice. One physician, sick with the virus, reportedly didn't want to take an intensive care bed from another patient. It cost him his life. Americans in Italy warning of the dangers to loved ones back home. You don't realize who you're going to come in contact with next. You could be a carrier and not even know it. Darkness in Italy and Spain, suffering nearly 300 deaths in the past 24 hours. But glimmers of light from China, reporting no new domestic cases. A long road ahead for other nations facing Corona's deadly wave. And James joins us now. James, we've been so focused on Italy, but cases in Spain are now exploding as well. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. It is now the second hardest hit country in Europe after Italy. Today we heard 294 more deaths in the last 24 hours, bringing the total in Spain to 803. And shockingly today, one official was quoted as saying that he believes that Madrid could see an 80% infection rate of coronavirus in the city. That is the capital of Spain. That is quite extraordinary uh, when you think about it. So a national lockdown is in place, like the one we've seen in Italy. Actually, the uh, Spanish authorities are using drones to try to make sure that that people stay out of public uh, spaces. All public uh, spaces have basically been closed down. All shops, libraries, university, everything is shut in order to stop this thing from spreading. Uh, Spain also faces a number of challenges like other European countries do, namely its uh, population is on the older side, like here in the United Kingdom, like in Italy, an elderly population very much uh, in danger. Also austerity across Europe, a bit hard, particularly on the health system in Spain, so that is a challenge for them. And the way that the health system is structured in Italy, it's very much regionalized, so it's going to be very difficult for them to get a picture of just how uh, much this uh, virus is spreading and how to combat it. A lot of challenges challenges ahead for Spain. Lindsay. James, thank you for the snapshot over there and we'll be coming back to you later in the show for some much needed positive news. We'll see you then. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.